picture is the water cycle. Okay, so we're looking at evaporation, you're looking at precipitation, you're looking at things like runoff, you're also looking at things like condensation. Okay, so the plants in the picture undergo a process called uh, photosynthesis that involves this, okay, so photosynthesis. Blank, how does water move from the non-living world to that? Well, that is going to be photosynthesis. Okay, so make sure that you start recognizing abiotic versus biotic. In case there's a question that has that flipped. In case that would be transpiration if you're going to flip it. Okay, transpiration flips it. Draw a human on the picture. What process do they go? Well, they're going to use cell respiration. And uh, I, also, I want to be on a boat. I'm on a boat? Boat, me, me. I don't know how to sail. There's me. It's all aspiration. I'm leaving water. Okay, now that you whisper. Here we go. Read these statements about global warming and mark which statement is true or false. The current climate change model suggests that average global temperatures will increase uh, 1 to 2 degrees Celsius. This is true. Okay, so the more CO2 you're putting in there, uh, greenhouse gas effect. Heat is getting trapped in. Rising temperatures will cause changes in available food sources. Absolutely. Look, bees and plants aren't even uh, kind of, if you will, starting their seasons at the same time, so they're missing all the pollination. More land will be available to inhabit over the earth. Uh, I could say this could go either way. I'm going to say most likely is going to kind of depend on where you're looking at. Okay, all animals would benefit. Absolutely not. There would be an increase in flooding. Absolutely. Okay, all plants would benefit from warmer temperatures. This is not true. Human technology, such as cars, factors adding CO2 in the atmosphere, contribute to global warming. Yes, you have a huge human impact, right? Try to cut down as much as you can. HOV lane, carpool, whatever you need to do. Just don't text and drive. Okay, look at the picture of the carbon cycle. Here we go, last one. We're almost done. Stay with me. Stay awake. Look at the picture below or above. It's going to be above, okay? What role does combustion play? Well, this adds CO2 to the air, okay? Plants mix sunlight, water, and what does it got to breathe in? CO2, okay? So this is why the carbon cycle is important for us to learn. Animals and humans undergo cell respiration, which uses oxygen to break down glucose and produce. So cell respiration breaks down glucose, produces CO2. It also produces ATP, but it also produces water. Okay, that's why it drew me, drew me on a boat. What role does death and decay play? Well, this recycles. Okay, so you're going to get recycled at the end all your carbon. Okay, so not necessarily CO2, but the carbon that is making you up. How does carbon get from the non-living world to the biotic world? Well, this is going to be from plants, right? And they're doing that thing called photosynthesis. Okay, so that's going to be one thing that's going to take it from the non-living to the living world. And one test question is that it asks where all of the carbon that we use comes from. And it comes from the air. Okay, So a test question, all of the carbon comes from the air. City of London uses, or used to have a tremendous problem with smog. Sometimes so bad it partially blocked out the sun. If steps had not been taken to reduce smog and it gotten worse, what would an impact be on the plant life? Well, without sun, you're not going to have any photosynthesis. Okay, so no sun, uh, no photosynthesis. Okay, how would this affect the rest of the ecosystem? Well, now you're having no energy in, and you are going to start losing individuals. So, bad. Okay. Uh, please make sure you guys are looking at the Quizlet online. Make sure you come to me with any questions. 
Remember to wear red on test day because that stimulates the brain. Make sure that you guys are also uh, getting up early, having cinnamon, mint, also things that stimulate the brain. You're going to do great. No need to